in this video, I spent all night at one of the most haunted insane asylums in the country. Make sure to watch until the end for some crazy content. Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. We've been out here pe peeping what this place has got going on. Huge video for you today. We are at an insane asylum psychiatric facility from the 1800s. Look at this, police are going by right now, show them. They're already on their games. So we're here at this facility from the 1800s. It was made in the 1800s, 1900s. I'm gonna do a little history lesson for y'all today. You know, I did my research for once, guys. But this is not Chuck E. Cheese overnight challenge, guys. This is like a real deal. Basically, to give you a quick rundown, back in the day in the early 1900s, they would take mentally unstable, basically people that they deemed crazy over here, and they would do all sorts of crazy tactics. Um, shock therapy, basically torture is what it was. So this place, they say, is one of the most haunted places in, in, if not in the area, in the country. So long story short, my dad and I are gonna be camping out here all night long doing an overnight challenge. I just downloaded a new app on my phone as well, Ghost Hunt Nap. So we're gonna see if we can find any ghosts or whatnot. It's gonna start getting dark soon, guys, and we're gonna start exploring this property. Let's go. Okay everyone, so it is approximately almost sunset right out here and we're gonna start this little exploration here and uh, first comes over here, my dad actually has some history here, right dad you used to live up here, you actually snuck in back in the day, back in what, the 80s? Oh yeah, well back 90s. 90s, so he snuck in here before they even like shut this place down, remodeled some areas, but uh, some crazy stories, maybe I'll tell us later. But he told me over there, what were you telling me about these cages? These caged in areas are where, it was a time period where they felt that more sunlight helped the mentally unstable. So they put these cages in so they could wheel the patients out or the patients could come outside, but uh, not jump from anywhere or, um, so they, you know, they, they could So they couldn't leave, so they would just be, caged they would come in. out here and just stare off in the distance right where we are right now, guys. So, uh, pretty pretty creepy stuff already. Can you feel the eyes on you? A little bit. I just wanna say if there's any ghosts out there, I'm just your family friendly content creator, okay? We're not looking for any trouble, all right? So, uh, yeah, that's just one factoid for today. But uh, it's pretty creepy. Like the first thing I said when I pulled up, guys, is like I thought like, oh, we're going to an insane asylum. It actually looks creepy as heck. Like it looks like out of a horror movie, this build over here. So, uh, onward we go. Look at that, guys. We just walked here. That light right there is flickering. I don't know. That could be that could be something right there. Got a shot of the flickering light up here. We already saw a light flickering up there. Guys, this is a huge property. We're going to be going around all night long using this little ghost app I just got here. See if we can find any ghosts, spirits, or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is, this is probably the most scariest thing we've ever done knowing that our past ventures have been Chuck E. Cheese overnight challenge, overnight challenge at the beach, and so on and so forth in the woods. This is the real deal, guys. We're not playing around this video. Okay, everyone, we just left the insane asylum just for a few minutes to pick up this pizza. How are we gonna catch ghosts on an empty stomach exactly, guys? We're gonna dig in this pizza over here and then we're gonna get back on the job, back in. You know, things aren't gonna get that crazy till two, three in the morning. That's when the spirits are right there gonna come out. We're actually gonna, you know, ghost test this area, see if anything's up. There's a place, I'm, I think we're gonna try to actually sneak in for once too. We're gonna try to sneak in through this gate into the actual asylum. So that should be fun as long as we can avoid, because there's a cop actually, when I've been faking this, there's a cop that rotates the area, right, Dad? Yes. There's a cop that goes around making sure no kids sneak in, but uh, clearly he has not met Clock. What's the kid, baby? Let's go.
something else that we we just walked back and what did we hear dad gunshots gunshots so i was like what's that dad he's like gunshots right i thought they were like fireworks or something so we're in the middle of the city i don't know what's going on that my dad said that the neighborhood right across from this asylum is super sketchy right dad what were you telling me about that uh, bad news bad news bad news so right when you get out of this area is the basically the hood so uh gunshots going on out here it's only 10 o'clock at night i don't know what's going to be going on here two three in the morning but you know clock west the kid does not play around guys i'm just going to say that so we're going to eat some pizza here relax calm down a little bit and then we're going to get back on our way exploring you know trying to get into this asylum for real for real okay guys it is now 11 o'clock pretty much as we speak 11 p.m still not super late but late enough and right here i think i got some footage hopefully earlier if not i'll get some in the morning because it's so dark you really can't see but there's this whole um corner of the asylum that's um, fenced off here but there's a, as you can see there's some space under the fence here there's a cop that patrols the area but i'm going to try to attempt to sneak under the fence and get some shots this is actually scary as hell because i cannot see anything in there but when it was earlier we scoped it out and who knows maybe we can get in the asylum guys this is the type of content we're trying to create out here so uh let's run it no pop come on Let's see if i can even fit under here right that yep okay now get back on this side now i'm going to investigate that let's go okay guys another update here i just went underneath the fence but i'm getting a little nervous because there is a lot of security here surprisingly we've been walking around here scoping this place out since eight o'clock since we started filming this video guys and what we noticed is there's literally every five minutes there's security that rotates this building yes yeah, so there's sum it up quick there's literally a security guard parked right over there i don't know if there's anyone in the car and we have this bright light exactly so it, we're kind of sauce you know some people probably do come by here and take photos videos you know of the place so it's not that weird but i can't be sneaking in or anything yeah because it's like 11 30 at night exactly so i'm already nervous security right no. ghosts spirits you know i actually learned a history class back in the day guys you know what enough about history screw it this ain't a history channel this is the claw quest channel let's go under here follow me dad so i'm applying my ghost radar this is basically used to be part of the insane asylum. They got bars. I don't know what was going on down here, but um, dude, if I get one more ad on this ghost app, they keep feeding me ads. Yeah, How am I gonna catch any ghosts? We're gonna get arrested here get, if you kept messing around with that. Exactly. I got my ghost tracker out here. I'm just mm -hmm. like, something already popped up. Something See? already popped up. I knew it. There's some spirits down here, guys. Listen. Oh my god, that is a big spot. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna take a step back here, guys. Getting a little too crazy. Claw quests. Achilles heel. Spirits, I sympathize for you. I'm just trying to get some family friendly, good quality content out here. So just let me. You should here. set this on the night vision mode. Let me set this in. Okay. This way, this is kind of soft. We ventured over here, and look at this. My dad pointed this out earlier, guys. Look at, look at how locked this door is. Like, this just looks. What, what would you say to this, Dad? It is a serious lock. Like, like you're. Like, a meat locker. It looked like. There's like six to seven different contraptions. That's where they kept the their raw meat. Is that Dude. the security? Why are there so many security guards here? Like, I'm genuinely, genuinely curious. Like, how many people actually try to break in here? Like, at least one. I think two. Like, there's a um, a psychiatric facility like right across the street with people that actually like currently live here. So that might have something to do with it. We kind of like. Oop, there's bugs. a there's a not so nice neighborhood next to this place. I'm not sure. It's kind of sketching me out here. I'm not trying to get taken to the station, guys. We have, we gotta hit 20,000 subscribers. We can't be going to jail before we hit 20k, you know. So. Okay, guys. It is past midnight now. We've been hearing some strange sounds, haven't we, Dad? It was really really creepy. It okay. was like steam or okay, something. Okay, we just heard some weird sounds. I'm not even I'm not even playing around. I'm not even trying to hype this video up guys. I'm honestly getting like kind of freaked out here. I'm hearing some like weird sounds in the background. I got my ghost detector pulled out here and I'm getting some I'm getting some signs from the ghost detector. There is some action, there's some readings going on here. So uh That's a window. This place is definitely abandoned. I'll see that for sure. Should I knock on the door? Okay, 
Let's go. Okay. All right, everybody, quick update for y'all. It is currently one in the morning. My dad left me about 20 minutes or so. I think I got some crazy footage, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna review it later. We knocked on this door and we heard a very strange sound coming from inside. It could have been something falling off a shelf or it could be some paranormal activity. I think we caught it on film. So at the moment, my dad is somewhere in the hotel. He went to bed, I don't blame him. But you know, right across from this asylum is a very sketchy neighborhood at night. So my dad warned me, do not walk around there. He said, this ain't a joke, right? Don't go around there looking to get some footage. So I'm just gonna be staying on certain parts of the asylum. I'm just gonna try to keep cool guys to, so I can hopefully make it till morning alive and well. Okay everyone, it is now 3 a.m., 3 in the morning out here, and I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm the one that's about to go insane. I just keep, I keep like seeing things that aren't actually there. My dad is down a long ways in a hotel. I, I told him I don't want any part of the hotel. I don't want any temptations. Don't even give me the room key. So I've literally just been out here chilling in this um, lobby where you check in where he's staying. Just cause, dude, I'm not trying to just walk in circles around this place. I don't know what's going on. Very shady neighborhood over there. And I keep hearing weird noises, very strange noises. This is rough. This is rough. Do you guys, do you guys hear that? Do you hear that? Shh. Right behind me is this huge structure where they have all these metal cages, like stories and stories and stories high. You guys cannot see it, but it's right behind me over there. There's a fence. I'm geeking out, guys. I literally, I swear, I'm hearing these like dog barks and like faint yells. My dad said it's normal to hear yelling coming from the neighborhood over there. I feel like someone's watching me right now, guys. I'm not even kidding. I literally, I like have this weird feeling. Something is not setting right with me right now. I'm honestly about to call my dad and wake him up and tell him to get down here so he can pick me up. Oh my God. All right, everyone, it is now 4 a.m. I am hanging on by a thread. It is just me and basically security looping around here. I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. All right, everyone, I have survived another challenge. I am extremely tired, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you for everyone who has stayed and stuck around to the end of this video. Make sure to smash like on it if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment, tell me what you wanna do next. We're dropping bangers on bangers. The summer is not over yet. Road to 20,000 subscribers. I am never coming back here in my life. This has been Claw Quest and I'll see you guys in the next one.